Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my video. This is today's question. Looks interesting, but not mission impossible because we know we can solve it using partial fractions and then properly substitution and so on. But using partial fraction may be a tedious long process and potential create careless mistake. Therefore, in this video, we would like to solve it without using partial fractions. Let's start the solution using inverting variable strategy. Change the x become x power negative 1. dx become negative x power negative 2 dx. Infinity become 0 and 0 become infinity. From here, we obtain q equals to integral infinity to 0. Numerator is x power negative 3 while denominator is x power negative 5 plus x power negative 4 plus x power negative 3 plus x power negative 2 plus x power negative 1 plus 1 and then don't forget to multiply negative x power negative 2 dx We can cancel the negative become positive by swapping the integration bound Meanwhile, we will include the new term which is multiply x power 5 divided by x power 5 which is equals to integral 0 to infinity 1 over 1 plus x plus x power 2 plus x power 3 plus x power 4 plus x power 5 and then dx Label the original question as equation 1 and newly found q as equation 2 Both having the same integration bound and same denominator We can apply equation 1 plus equation 2 Therefore, left hand side is 2q while the right hand side is integral 0 to infinity. Numerator is x power 3 plus 1 while denominator is x power 5 plus x power 4 plus x power 3 plus x power 2 plus x power 1 plus 1 and then dx. While it doesn't seem so helpful because nothing solved, don't worry, we can try to factor the denominator with the x power 3 plus 1. So numerator become x power 2 multiply x power 3 plus 1 and then plus x multiply x power 3 plus 1 and then plus x power 3 plus 1. This can be further factor become x power 2 plus x plus 1. The whole thing multiply x power 3 plus 1. Obviously, x power 3 plus 1s are cancelling from the equations. Now we have q equals to 1 over 2 integral 0 to infinity 1 over x power 2 plus x plus 1 and then dx. Here, we can change the plus 1 become plus 1 over 4 and then minus 1 over 4 plus the original 1. This is to help us to complete the square. We need to complete the square so that the integration is possible. Now, the denominator of the integrand becomes x plus 1 over 2, the whole thing power 2, plus square root of 3 divided by 2, power 2. So in current format, q is integratable, which is equal to 1 over 2, multiply 2 divided by square root of 3, multiplies inverse tangent of 2 divided by square root of 3 multiply x plus 1 over 2 for x equals to 0 and infinity. Putting x equals to infinity into the equation and then minus the version that x equals to 0, we have 1 over square root of 3 and then multiply inverse tangent of infinity minus inverse tangent of 1 over square root of 3 which is equals to 1 over square root of 3 and then multiply pi divided by 2 minus pi divided by 6. That brings us to the conclusion of this video. The final answer of this question is pi divided by 3 square root 3. Thank you for watching this video until the end. Please continue support my channel. Subscribe, give a like and share my video with others. I see you in my next video. Bye bye.